Ten-year-old Biddy loves playing with her grandfather. When he suddenly became ill, she was heartbroken. His hands and legs started hurting a lot. So when he could not walk for several months, I fed him and took care of him. Biddy's grandfather was diagnosed with severe diabetes, which caused partial paralysis. The medication prescribed for him did not help. He had to give up his job as a gardener for the government and could no longer provide for his family. So Biddy's mother got a job at a tailoring center run by a local church. She found out that the church also ran a youth group and thought Biddy would enjoy it. When I went there, I learned how to dance, sing songs, pray, and read the Bible. They also showed us super book. One of the stories was about a man who was paralyzed. Jesus told him, your sins are forgiven, get up. And immediately the man stood up. So I believed that if I prayed to Jesus, he would listen to my prayers and heal my grandfather. Biddy also asked the pastor for help. As a church, we began to pray for him. Then I talked to him and read him scriptures about God's healing power. Then he prayed for me and all of a sudden I started getting better. It wasn't long until he got up and started walking. In less than a month, Biddy's grandfather felt so well that he went back to work. Both he and Biddy have no doubt who healed him. I knew Jesus healed me after my granddaughter and the church prayed for me. So I asked him to be my one true God. After my grandfather was healed, I prayed to Jesus to come into my heart. I wanted to live as his child from that day on. Vidi is praying for the rest of her family to give their lives to Christ too. My brother likes it a lot when I read him stories from the Bible and watch Superbook with him. He sees how happy I have been ever since I accepted Jesus into my life.